Alex Parkera here and welcome to another edition of Football Manager 19 with Clyde FC up the bully wee. So let's go through. We're going to play today um, against Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup quarterfinals. So let's get stuck into it. But before we do, I'm just going to cover some bits and bobs. So let's just have a look at the schedule since we last left you, uh, which was against the Rangers. We had a few hiccups. It hasn't been all peachy. Uh, we followed that loss with a 1-0 loss away to Hibs and a 1-0 loss to Aberdeen. Being found out a bit, I think, here. Very unfortunate, just close losses, uh, like a 63rd minute concession there and a 64th, just conceding late. Thankfully, we had the... Um, Winter break for a couple of weeks almost there. If we didn't do any friendlies, I thought we'll leave it, let the lads the rest up. We came back in the Scottish Cup fourth round against Inverness, uh, championship team Inverness. Uh, we were lucky here. Barra Curry is penalty in the 48th minute. They got a guy sent off in the first minute. Uh, we came through with a 1-0 win. Not the best. Uh, the tactic has, I don't know if it's been found out or what. I'm just tempted not to make too many radical changes. Uh, we're getting some of the jobs done, as we did here against Kilmarnock as well, uh, back in the league action. Uh, Finlayson getting a 26-second-minute header there from a corner, getting on the score sheet, uh, rounding off a great 7.9 rating. We then are home to Hibs, who was second from the bottom of this stage. Uh, disappointing. I was disappointed with a draw. Um, I think we should have come through with a win. Uh, yeah, not Hibs. Did I say Hibs? Uh, Hamilton. We should have won this. And uh, to my opinion, two drop points. Uh, then we hosted Hearts. A much better performance against bottom of the table here. On TV two, uh, three one win here. Uh, McKay two goals and Dean Campbell with a goal as well, rounding out a really good solid result and one that I felt we should have we deserved and we should have got anyway. Uh, we then did well. I was happy with this. A uh, one-all draw against Celtic. They kicked it off in the ninth minute, and then we equ uh, came back and equalised in the 14th. Um, Finlayson from another corner really did a the good hitting job there and equalising for us. Overall, I think the team played well. Neither team really did much more, though. We kind of cancelled each other out. We did push towards the end, I think, of the half, uh, but we just, yeah, we couldn't get anything extra where we did go for it, but Overall, I'm very, very happy with an away draw at Celtic here. Uh, we then saw the Scottish Cup fifth round, 2-1 win over Morton. Uh, Morton R's championship, they were about six, I think. Six or ninth, the sixth in the championship, I believe. Uh, goals from McKay, 78th minute, and Hunter in the 82nd. Quite a fairly rotated squad. Uh, games come thick and far, fast around this time. Uh, throughout January as well, as you can see, uh, 3rd, 6th, 13th, you know. So, yeah, and then we hit the 31st. So quite a few games every two days or three days. We didn't have much in terms of rest. So uh, I mixed and matched the team a fair wee back. Uh, Andy Johnson getting a, a start and goal there. Sheeran coming in to give Finlayson a bit of a rest and, and just some little changes there. We then went, uh, we hosted St. Johnson and fell to a 3-1 loss. Uh, Finlayson sent off in the 20 sec, uh, 27th minute. Uh, yeah. Uh, 1 0 to then we equalise in the 28th just after that sending off. And then the uh, yeah the extra man that uh, St. Johnson had really started to tell in that second half. And they're able to finish us off with a 75th and 88th minute uh, goals from them. But we bounced back, luckily, against uh, Dundee. Dundee doing fairly well. They're not the bottom two or three this season. They're, um, they're in that bottom half, but they are doing a lot better than I predicted and a few people predicted. So I was happy to come away with um, a 1-0 away win here. We pushed for it, I must say. We did push. Uh, we got that equaliser. Not equaliser. The winning goal just well, basically um, at the time for the first half. Um and that was it is. I've been looking at the tactic, been trying to change things up, but I haven't done too much to it, if anything. I think it's just a matter of persevering and still understanding that we're doing okay. We really are punching above our weight. And speaking of our weight here, um, in the Scottish Cup, so before we go into the Scottish Cup against Aberdeen, what I want to do is show you the league table here. 
just let you know how we are looking. So we're in the quarterfinals, as you know, today. We were supposed to make the fifth round. League-wise, in the Ladbrokes Premiership, I am happy with this. Uh, we are third. Obviously, it's a very tight Celtic. We were first for a wee while and second. We started to slip down. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're doing well. It's very tight. That top six, even technically the seven, is, is very tight there. Um, so it's very important that we keep trying to pick up points where we can. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with where we are. And like I said, the tactics, I think it's just we are Clyde. We're not able to uh, get the players that we need. I, uh, there was a player, I think I showed him you in the uh, last episode or two. Uh, he was on trial with us. Again, we tried to get him, but, I mean, he would have been ideal. However, we just couldn't do it. We couldn't offer the contract, the money. Uh, the same, that's why we've made no signings in the transfer window. Just no money to make the transfer deals. Uh, they'll come for us on free. Um, like that guy did for Troy, was happy, but they want like one and a half to 2K. At the most, we can offer $650. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so today's squad, we've got Al Bazzuti. We've got a few players who've asked for games, and I've made promises, yeah, I think you deserve it. Al Bazzuti is one of them. Madanga is one of them, but he's not too far off being able to drop him a bit. Uh, Kerr and also, uh, where is he? Kerr and Easton have asked the same thing. So I'm kind of rotating them through one, uh, two games at a time. Just see how we can pacify them. Uh, but also now soon I have to be careful because... Uh, Old Anthony Rolston, the first choice, is not getting enough games because of it. And I, I, at the end of the day, I need to put him first if he is the best player. But he's playing at a 6.82. Uh, Easton's playing at a 6.94 for his limited games. And Kerr is only on eight games now, 6.98. So it's very, it's touch and base. Uh, Tiffany's playing here. And what I've made a change with this is... Tiffany normally plays as an inside forward. I've gone bugger it. He's better as a winger on support. Let's just chuck him there and see what we can get done with it. So we've done a fair bit of jibber-jabbing. Let's get into, I need another goalkeeper, as always. So what we're going to do is uh, Hunter, Sharon, Campbell. We don't need no damn. All right, so let's get stuck in, shall we? So that is the lineup. Kelly and goal. Kerr and Gallagher are fullbacks. Robinson in the centre and Finlayson as well. Uh, Southern can't play today because his parent club is Aberdeen. Medanga is a deep line playmaker. Smith and Ferguson, Albazudi, Tiffany and McKay. It's going to be a tough old game. Uh, encourage a team. I'm going to go assertive and I'm going to go. We owe the buggers. No, okay, no. Um, you know what? Let's send the assistant because it is his job to do those tunnel interviews. So the quarterfinals. Uh, I was going to come back in the semis if we made it, uh, but I thought, you know what? There's no more league games. I th we're going to go through and probably not touch any more league games until at least the split has happened and then cover those last few games that quite might be vital, especially if we have made the playoff zone. And we can try and push into Europe, perhaps, dare I think that way. So that's kind of why, and I want to get a game up here, so that's what we're doing here. And I do hate how these reset, but it's also not. There we go. All right, so nil all, okay. How are things looking? Well, we're nothing, okay. I'm going to demand some more from them. We've really done nothing with that. And that is another one, but uh, Finlayson's got the ball. Ferguson, God, is moving so fast, my eyes. McKay, find, well, went to find Albazudi, but nothing else comes of it. And now Aberdeen uh, on the run. And well done, Madanga, just basically stood there, bully boyed his way through to get the ball. Now Tiffany's on his run. Come on, Tiffany. That's yours, McKay. Oh, good effort. Saved by the goalkeeper. Come on, lads. This is what we want to see. Corner from Tiffany. Not as prolific this season, I've found. It doesn't seem to be anyway. Uh, his ratings aren't too bad, but I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just, yeah, I think he's getting older. And he's just not developing. Smith goes for a long shot. It's tipped over by the goalkeeper. Fair enough, bro. Another corner. 
Tiffany and cleared. If we can get through and qualify for Europe, it'd be bloody awesome. We do need that and also have some money to come through, some developments, and also hopefully it'll be a big boost to our reputation as well. We've got a couple of bookings. They've had nothing. So we've got three shots in target. So I'm going to just be... I'm going to be a bit more assertive, and I'm going to go... Let's see. We've been a better team. No, I don't think we'll be fine. Go out there and make it happen, lads. Let's go. Everyone's... Yeah, 6.5, 6.5. Alba Zudi. Um, he's motivated. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give everybody another... 15 minutes. We'll see how we're looking at 60th minute mark. Okay, not much to go through, eh? You know, yeah. How's the fitness? Fitness isn't too bad. We've had, a, we've had what, seven days between games? Let's get creative. Nice cross. Goalkeeper. Well done. Come on, push him, push him, push him, push him. Okay, that's ours. Yes, make it, Tiffany. Find your man, Ferguson, Albazuti. Yes, Albazuti, you beauty. Third goal of the season. Again, someone who hasn't been as prolific this season hasn't had the opportunities, to be honest. Uh, he's 28, and is I don't know. I just haven't given him the opportunities. I've got that youngster who's just really uh, more talented in a way, I guess. But Albazuti, yet yeah, he can still get it done, and nicely done. Just sneaks it there. A cross could have been good, but no. He said, nah, sorry, mate. I'm not crossing no ball. I'm going for goal here, laddie. Okay, 1-0. We're going well. Fitness is going good for us. I think fair now. 65th minute. We can't do bugger all. We are in control here. Smith. Oh, Smith should have taken a shot. Ah, that. Oh, ho, ho, whoa. What a tackle that was, even though it was from behind to the keeps. Okay, we got lucky there. Right, let's make a substitutions here. Uh, Fitness-wise, I think we, everyone's playing well. I think McKay is going to come off for Bell. Uh, Medang, I think everyone else is doing pretty well. Lloyd is doing, he's nervous. So Lloyd can come off for Sharon. And Medanga on for Campbell. We'll make those changes and then we'll give a shout. And I'm going to praise them. And we'll concede straight away. Throw in, intercepted by Ars Ferguson. We're to Albazuti. Find Smith. Smith. Smith goes for goal. Wasted. All right. Well, this is good. We just need to hang on here. Rangers are 1-0 up. Killy during 1-0. Okay, so it's being played off us. And we, ladies and gentlemen, are in the semifinals. So, yeah, we will be back for the semifinals. We'll just get through this thing. Um, nothing specific. Uh, yeah, passionate. Very nice victory. Well done, lads. Okay, so the draw is tomorrow. So guess what? We're going to come back for the draw, and you can be with us. Uh, vintage display. So, guys, we will see you shortly uh, for the draw. All right, folks, let's have a nosy at the draw. So who's left? We've got Celtic and Rangers, uh, St. Miriam or Kilmarnock. Celtic just beat St. Johnston. So I'd like to see these two battle it out, and we'll take on St. Miriam or Kilmarnock. But to be, um, because at the end of the day, well, you know what? No, I'd like to face Rangers. And I said so in the press conference because, hey, it's in the neutral ground, Hampden Park. But facing a big team means, what do you get? More crowds. So let's have a look at the, let's do it. Ready? Automatic draw. Drum roll, please. Rangers. Clyde. Baby, let's do this. Let's do this. So Clyde will face Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-finals. Remembering two seasons ago, I think it was, we made the final. 
And on our way there, we had to knock off Aberdeen and Celtic. This time, can we add Rangers? Whew. Okay, so we played each other in the final back in 1949. Very good. Okay, they're gonna they're going to retain their trophy. So let's have a look at the schedule now, folks. All right. We will be back for the semi-final here on the 11th now, and after that we will also by that time have the cutoff, and we'll be doing some more league games or one or two as well. So we'll leave it at that. Rangers on TV at the Hampton Park in the Scottish Cup semi-finals. All right, folks, make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Comment down. All right, folks, I am Pakira. Thank you for your time today, and we will see you for the Scottish Cup semi against Rangers. G'day, folks. Okay, so you would have just seen that we drew Rangers. Yeah. And now you're looking at the screen where it says we've drawn Celtic. Yeah. Right. So, let me just tell you what happened. So, I played ahead. Where are we? I played ahead. Played Motherwell. Played St. Miriam. Cool. Thought, right, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm done for tonight. I'm going to save and quit. So, I went to FM. I went to quit game and exit. And normally... I would click yes, you know, the one that's highlighted in red. I clicked no. And I lost the progress. You'll also see that the result against Aberdeen was a 4-1 win, win on the replay. I had to replay it. Because it hadn't saved, I hadn't saved the game before, until just before the game. That we did live comp. I should have saved after, normally I would have. So, um, yeah, change of plans. I had to, like, play that, like, twice just to get a win. We're now playing Celtic in the semi-final. <sighs> I would have preferred to have St. Miriam or somebody else again, rather, or, or if we couldn't have Rangers, not Celtic. We've played Celtic in live comms so much. So, I'm going to come back for it. Just because it's the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. But I thought I'd just let you know what's going on. And what's happened. Oh! Alright, folks. <laughs> Apologies. Been a while now. I have to go back and play, and I haven't even played these games. I think I'll do those tomorrow. So while you're with me, we're going to quit to game and exit. And oh, you're just going to save it as close. We're just going to make sure. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll catch you later. Here comes.